Hey everybody, Crispy here from Crispy Adventures, and I here have a new deck profile for you on Shadow Paladins. This is my old deck box here. I am going to cover uh, Clarence Sword, and this is my Clarence Sword Diablo deck, so let's go over it. Let's see, yeah, basic sleeves. So we're going to go over the strides first, then go down from there. Okay. So we are playing four Supreme Black Dragon or a Geyser Dragon. We have four of him. So to go over his effect, he is a Generation Stride or a Stride Generation card. Who has counter blast one, soul blast one? Choose a rear, choose a face down copy of him. So this is a persona flip, and he basically does. Let's see, if I play him, play him right. You sacrifice two, and you look at the top two. You reveal two, two cards on top of the deck. And if they are grade one or less, this gets plus five hundred for each grade one. So you basically, when he's attacking, instead of twenty six on the boost, twenty six. It'll be 36, so that's pretty good, and combos well to make Diablo go faster. So those are my strides for that one. Then we play 4 Dark Dragon Phantom Blaster Diablo, which is basically your restriction card for your opponent from guarding. So it's a Persona Flip. It gets plus 10k and a crit. Also, you sacrifice 3 of your own, own, own units. Your opponent must sacrifice 2. If they don't, they can't guard. So that's really good for pressure. Okay, moving on to main units now. We are running three, four Supremacy Dragon Claret Sword Dragon. So Generation Break two is going to be choose two rear guards, retire them. This gets plus 10k and a crit, so that's pretty good. Also, his stride stride break skill is I counter blast one pay a cost if I do search my deck for a grade one, and he gets um plus two. So that's really good for, for comboing many cards in the deck here, which I'll go over after. But that's really the main concept that this deck is more grade one, grade one focused. So I play four of him, and then we set it up with three Diablos, three Blaster Darks. So I'm running only seven grade threes in this deck. So his generation break is when I'm striding for a Blaster, so which is the only Diablo at the moment. So a Phantom Diablo. So Anything I strive with costs a three, so I could ditch a trigger, it would be a three. Also, when I stride um, Phantom, Phantom, the Phantom Blaster over him, it retires the unit, so it's not bad. So, mostly I focus on Clarence, he's just stride fodder at times, unless something situational comes up. Then we are running four 10k attackers, because it's fine. I'm trying to follow Kazuki's deck style, so we play four of him. It's not too bad. Pressure is pressure if you get great stuck. Then we play three Cursed Lancers for damage on flipping, just so we can have fun on flipping. Or, sorry, on flip counter charge now. So we play two different types. I play the BT15 version and the BT4 version, so two different arts, with different color variations. Then we play our new um, the main clone. Generation Break 1, Counter Blast 1, Ditch a card, draw 2. She's pretty good. Especially when you have a Sky Knight Eagle behind it to get the boost, additional boost. So we'll go over that afterwards too. Okay, so we play 4 PGs because we have 1 that's SP. So that's awesome. It looks really cool. So he's your Counter Charge PG. So he's really good. Then we play onto Great Ones. More Great Ones. Or Night Sky Eagles. So basically, he is your 11k attacker. When he's called, that's really good first turn. For for a turn, he gets plus plus four. Also, when you combo him, Clarence Sword comes 13k. So that's a lot of pressure for the first turn. So as a booster or an attacker, that's really good. So I play four of him. And we play four Strata Sisters. So he searches, she searches for your Clarence Sword, and there's your Stride. So that's really good. Play two basic grade ones, so can't go wrong with that. Little 8k is being called Clarent because of 10k booster, so that's really good for pressure. Then we have our tributes. We play three starters, 
because we will sacrifice this guy for our geyser and or for Diablo. So he's really good. So we play three of him. Okay, triggers. We are back to old school triggers. So we play one, two, three, four Death Feather Eagles. Focus on them. Then we play our shiny triggers of um, Leaping Knight, Digman Nanma, Lumana. Four of him. And then we have four Howl Owls for your soul because because our guys are cost soul. And we go back to the old this healers here. Can't go wrong with that. So when I do comboing in this deck, and what I do, I'm ready for food. I'm gonna ignore that. You guys heard that or not? So when I play this deck, I usually have a Clarence Sword there, David in the back row. Let's see if I can focus all this. You see all of that? There we go. Clarence Sword there, David there. And sometimes I have a 10k, sometimes I try to boost the pressure, so I, play, I try to get a counter charger there, and a 10k there. So when I stride at times, or at times I'm going to have that there, so let's say I stride, or a geyser, we will end up calling an eagle there, and for fun an eagle here, just for power. And then I'll have, a, have the vanilla 8k behind... Yeah, right. Sometimes I have full field, sometimes I don't. So this is my usual layout. So that's not bad for comboing here, because this right here is a nice big lineup here. Or you can just use the one, but still, big, big, big numbers. So you sacrifice your David, you get your two, and sometimes you get lucky, you get the one. So you're only playing 10 grade two, so the odds of drawing your ones are good. So you get him the extra boost. So I can't complain with that. And at times, I usually would have to have, instead of Clarence there, I will have. Diablo there. He's in, such, in a situation where he has stuff on the field, so let's call heavy numbers like this layout here and have uh, have him up on the field and start destroying stuff. That is my combo and play style for this deck. I'm pretty sure other people have other ideas of what to play. Some people will max out their three, threes to fours, but I don't do that. Cause I'm more focused on the winners getting power and everything here is all all fodder for for these two here. And for your Aura Geyser and your Diablo. Everything in the deck is fodder for those guys. Just food. Because that's my play style. Um, I have another deck profile on the Break Ride and him. So I'm waiting on cards for Overlord. I could do a profile on it, but the Japanese cards as the proxy. I'm not going to do that for now. We'll wait for the other cards to come in the mail to cover it. Um, other than that, I have the contest going on still. This video will probably be up on Tuesday, or maybe t Monday, Monday, if I remember to edit the video out. I'm doing a bunch of video stuff today. Um, besides that, like and subscribe, like I said before. Enter the contest to win a box, because people like boxes. And yeah, leave a comment below what I should do in this deck, how to fix it, and how to balance it out. So yeah, thank you all for watching.